it's Kristen and welcome to another Total Rehaul. If you are new to Total Rehaul, this is a video where I go back to a haul that I filmed and I tried to do about six months ago and talk about the products that I hauled. Do I like them? Don't I like them? Did I return them? Might be that something didn't make a fails or didn't make a favorites, but that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, by the way, it's approximately 6 o'clock, give or take, in the morning. So if you hear whippoorwills and birds and things, that's just, just the way it is here at the game household. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first things that I have to talk about are Pure Minerals items. And these items were actually sent to me. I didn't know that they were coming when they arrived. Um, I, had I had purchased and reviewed the Pure Mineral Soul Mattes palette. And they were very appreciative of that, which blew my mind that they even knew who I was, <laughs> and sent me some a few products. So I just want to kind of run down those products for you. I've used them here and there in four looks palettes, and I think a couple of them even showed up in some of my favorites. So let's go ahead and just, and let's just jump in, shall we? So the first thing that I, that they sent me were two different blushes, and this one is in Sassy, and I really like this in Winter. This I don't think is is so much for me anyway of a summer blush, but autumn into winter, just beautiful right there. These blushes blend very well into the skin and they last all day long. I've been very impressed with them. I've been very impressed actually with the whole line. I'm blending it out now so that you can see. I've been really impressed with the whole line. I purchased um, a, I've purchased a few things since then from the line, so. There was that. The next blush, or the other blush that they sent me, and this is the one that I'm wearing today, is in Tees. And this is just a really pretty, like, bubblegummy pink. I think I mentioned the last time I wore this in a video that I don't have a ton of shades like this color. I, I wasn't ever drawn to this color. And since then, I've been wearing it, and I really enjoy that shade. Um, again, that's what I'm wearing on my on my cheeks today. It looks like that. Just really, really pretty. And again, they wear very, wear very well. I like the packaging. It's not um, super heavy or anything, but I kind of like that Lucite-ish packaging. So they sent me three of their lip glosses, and, and I hesitate. You can see I've made a pretty good dent in that one. I hesitate to call this a lip gloss because there's so much pigment to it. And I'll list the actual name bef below because I, I, if I remember correctly, the name is pretty long. This is the one in Bossy, and I have enjoyed doing with these. I'm going to give you a pretty good swatch of, of all three of these. With, with these, what I've done like with my Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava is in the fact that I've, you know, mix, mixing shades together you wouldn't think to mix together. So first of all, this is what the applicator looks like. It's a little bit on an angle and comes to a point. Very easy for applying. I really like that. So it. that is the shade Bossy right there. And again, let's just grab this here. That's what it looks like. And then this is the one I probably, I think actually I've worn this more than Bossy. This is the one in Exposed and it's just kind of that brown rosy sort of shade right there. And they wear well. They're a little bit sticky, not horrid by any means. And this one has some goldish glitter in it. This is called Scandalous. It's, you can see that, and I love this. I think I've mentioned this before. I love that the packaging has little, little lips on it. And you can really see the gold in this, but you can't, like the gold glitters, but you can't feel it on the lips which I like. I do not appreciate filling in glitter. Okay, and then the last thing that they had sent me um, that I had showed in this haul was three of their lipsticks, and they are, I'm going to try it, Chateau Divine lipsticks. I'm sure that means something. So this is, the packaging looks like this. I will show you before I show you the colors. So you can see the shade that it is through the packaging, and it just says pure right there. It's plastic packaging, and um, on the, where is it? says cheers right there which I think is cute so the first one that I have is show off and that's this one right here and this is a really pretty sort of it has a hint of purple rose with a hint of purple I find it to be actually relatively unique of a shade because of that shift of purple in it these are very moisturizing and they wear for a couple hours they're not super long wearing and I think just because they're so moisturizing 
I wore that show off a lot in the winter, or actually, well, right after I got this. This was late fall. I think this was the tail end of the Friends and Family or VIB sale, one or the other. Then the one in the middle is Fashionista. Really pretty uh, pink with some coral to it. Very, very, very nice. I'll be getting more use out of this now that tis the season for brighter lips. And then the last one, which is what I have on my lips today, I have something over it, which I'll talk about later, but this is an A-lister, and that is this one right here. It's a really pretty bright pink. So I really have enjoyed playing with those. Thank you again to Pure Minerals for sending those to me. Uh, as I said, I find them to be very moisturizing. Not super long wearing, but easy to reapply. Um, even though the shades are a little bit bright, I don't feel like I need like a lip brush or anything like that to apply them. They're very easy to apply. I purchased one brush for that. I'm almost, I'm almost positive that this was um, the, I think the last rehaul that I did was the Sephora VIB and this one was Sephora Friends and Family or vice versa. So this was the Sephora Pro Crease brush in number 10. I just did a review actually on all of my Sephora brushes that I owned. I'll link it below. I like this brush. I was looking for a replacement for my Smashbox number 10 brush since that seems to be really difficult to find lately. Um, and this is actually, I think I like it a little bit better, I think. So I use this just in the crease for laying down maybe transition color or um, if you're just going to really quick throw something in the crease or whatever, it's just a really nice sort of brush to diffuse the crease. I'm smirking because I was trying to come up with words other than blown out <laughs> and somebody suggested diffuse. I was like, yes, that's perfect. So it diffuses the crease. And then there was another brush, I missed it on my list, that, that I purchased is the Sephora Pro Blending number 27. And this one I like. I don't think this brush is particularly earth shattering. It's it's similar to a MAC 217, but not quite as dense. And I just don't feel like it works exactly like a, a MAC 217, which is one of my favorite brushes of life. So um, this is a nice brush, but not earth shattering by any means. Um, again, I will link that, that review below. So now we come to a couple of things that I just wasn't completely blown over by. And I, the rest of the world was, and I wasn't, but you know, it, it is what it is. So the first thing is the Makeup Forever line, Waterproof Lip Liner in 3C. I mean, it's fine. It, it's a nice lip liner and it's creamy and smooth and it's a nice color, but I just don't know why I was on the waiting list for this forever. I feel like the NYX ones are, are just as nice and last just as long, just as creamy. I don't know. It's nice. I just don't think it's worth the money. It's funny because you know how I've done some save or splurge videos? I have I have lots of products that I feel like I could have done save or splurges on, but they were all saves. I I don't I couldn't come up with one single splurge item in you know what I'm saying? So I haven't done one in a long time because they would have all been saves and no splurges. Okay, so this next one, I feel like it's gonna be a little controversial. So here it is, and this is Laura Mercier Plumberry. Again, it's very nice. So that's what it looks like right there in the pencil form. It's very nice, but I don't understand the, the ruckus about it, I guess. Um, I have a couple shades in my collection that, that are similar, and for all intents and purposes, on your lips, looks very, very much the same. One is from Revlon. It's the Color Stay in Rose or Rosé which is right next to that. And then one is from Milani and it's all it's called All Natural. It's from the color statement line. And that's this one right there. So Plumberry is there and that's that one. And then the one that's actually the closest and this is just things in my collection. So if you have a Liz Watier near you, is the Liz Watier actually a nude, which is right there. And that is that is pretty much the closest and I'm going to put it right above it here. It's a little bit easier. So that's it right there. So it's not that the plumberry is a bad liner. It's just, what's the hubbub? <laughs> I don't understand. And, um, but, but again, it's very nice. It wears very well. It goes on very nicely. I just think that, um, and it does, I think it, it lasts a little bit longer maybe, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's necessarily worth the cost. 
All right, a couple of products that I did love, a couple of products, um, and I, I love the lipstick probably more than the lip liner, but I bought the lip liner to go with it, and I talked this to death in the fall, so this is the lip liner, the velvet lip liner from NARS in Lanakai. So this is the shade, and this obviously is not the right time of year probably, but whatever. Rock red lip whenever you want to. But I bought that to go with the, my lipstick love of last year, I think probably, and that's NARS Olivia in the Audacious line. It's still the only Audacious that I have. There are more that I want to get down the line, but the, the formula is great. That shade is delightful. Ugh. Just, just love it. I, and I, I know I've talked about it to death, but still, still love it. Still stand by it. The next product I had on there was a kit that, you know, it's, it, it comes and goes very quickly, and I have two of these. I think this is the one from this year. It might have been the red one. I don't remember. But I just want to talk about the, these are the Bite Beauty Lip Crayons. And so this comes out every year in the holidays, and there's a set of four of them. And I just want to say this. The shades here, I'm trying to get this paper back. The more neutral shades, like these two shades here, they wear fine. They, they All of them wear nicely, feel good on the lips and that sort of thing. But what I've noticed for me in the past year, aging I tell you, is that, and I've heard this from other people now as well, is that the brighter shades of the lip, the Bite Beauty products, tend to bleed. I don't get that bleeding so much with their more neutral colors, but I definitely get it with their brighter colors. And um, so that's just something to keep in mind. If I pair a lip liner with it, then that helps a little bit, but just something to keep in mind. Love the shades, love the products, love that it's, you know, better for you than other lipsticks, but I just want to, I'm trying to get that NARS product off of me. That lip liner means business, I tell you. Um, but I just want to make mention, as I did in the last video that I talked about by products, that the brighter colors tend to bleed just a little bit into your into your lines. One product that I don't have to show here is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. I talked about that in my last quarter of Mascara Madness, where I did the review of the the quarters that I or the review of the products I used for that quarter as far as mascaras go or primers and that sort of thing. Um, I liked that. I did feel like that it smudged on me. The brush was really interesting. Um, I, I don't think I would repurchase it. It was too pricey, uh, as I said, and it did tend to transfer on me a little bit, but you want a little bit more in-depth um, review on that, I will link the Mascara Madness below where I talked about that product. I had another Bite Beauty product on that, and this is the, they call these the Mix and Mingle, and I'm not sure if this one in specific is still available, but this is the one that had Poppy on one side and Scarlet on the other, and again, these are very nice and they wear very well. These, I believe, are $12, and they always have it seems like they always have these around, not necessarily in these shades, but so you have to be very careful. You can see this one is just a little bit messed up. So that is the shade in Scarlet, the one that I just showed you, and that's the one in Poppy. Very pretty, but again, same issue. I, darker colors, the brighter colors, I get a little bit of bleeding. Have to pair them with the lip liner. You're going to have, you're going to, you're going to have some issues there. So the next product that I purchased was something that I knew I would like going in and I have shown it in favorites and that's by Laura Mercier. I love their loose minerals. I actually have been really missing them lately because I'm using up, you know, I'm, not, I'm on a use it up sort of project with my Burberry powder. Um, but this is the pressed version of the loose minerals. So it's not loose so much as pressed. This is a natural beige. I really, I don't know if I can swatch and show you, but it's, it, it gives just about the same finish. It's not exactly the same. I just tried to put it there. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's not exactly the same as the Loose Minerals. I think the Loose Minerals have a little bit more of a glow to them, but this certainly is much easier to travel with <laughs> and that sort of thing. And um, I don't find the Loose Minerals to be messy by any means because of the container that it comes in and it has a turn little sifter thing or whatever. But really, I love, I love the the Loose Minerals. I love the glow that it gives your skin. I have been a big fan of that forever. I probably, I haven't talked about them much in the past year-ish or so, maybe, because I've been, like I said, trying to work through some of my other powder products, but I'm this close to going back for a little while, I gotta tell you. All right, I'm just looking at my list here in case you're wondering. The next thing on here is the Becca Ombre Nudes. I did a save or splurge on this and com completely stand by that. This is a great product. The only reason I haven't been using this very much lately is because I've done, I'm doing, for those of you that maybe don't know, I'm doing a 
pan that palette challenge trying and so the palette that I've been using is the Naked Basics. So while I feel that like um, the Naked Basics is a great palette and I actually wish that this one had a little bit lighter shade. I think I said that in the Saver Splurge. I really think that this is a if you are a neutral lover and you like mattes, I, I think that the Becca Ombre Nudes is a really nice palette to have. These mattes build up on each other very well and not all mattes do that. So if you're trying to decide between the Naked Basics and the Becca Ombre Nudes, I don't know. I just feel like I like the Becca Ombre Nudes just a little bit better than the Naked Basics. So just my opinion. So lastly then for makeup was the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon Skyliner Kit. It was this big kit that came out. Again, this was going into the holidays. So there were seven shades in that and these are three of them and then the one that's missing is the black one because I've used that up. That kit is gone but I just, I mean I stand by that. I have purchased the full size of the black now. I, do, I think these liners are amazing. I have the brown one, which is it's in, in brown out. I have that in my upper waterline. These just wear like iron. Now, I do know, I have some friends that have said that they, it, these burn their eyes. They don't like how these, how these, they like how it wears and how it's, you know, it's there forever and ever and ever, but it, it, uh, it irritates their eyes. So I just wanted to mention that, that I do have some friends that have said that, but I, the, they don't irritate my eyes. I wear contacts and I don't have any issues that way. I'm just very careful when I put it on there not to get it on my contacts because you'll, if you get a little smudge on your contact, it could be there all day long. That's how well these wear. <laughs> um, so anyway, I really like those. I highly recommend them. If they come out with another kit this year, snatch it up. It was such a great deal price-wise uh, or it's like value. It was a really, really good value for money. So all right, that is all that I had for makeup in this one. The last things that I had were um, skincare that I had purchased from Camp Cosmetics. I had started out on with three of the things in their line, which the some of these were repurchases, and then I had added a couple of things. So I'm j I'll just I know that I've talked some of these things quite a bit, especially in my empties. So, but I wanted to show you because they're part of the rehaul. So, and again, these were all purchased by me. So the first one, the first thing that I showed that was the Illume, which is the moisturizer that I use morning and night. I absolutely love this. It smells like a vacation. <laughs> I really, really like it. So that is the moisturizer that I'm still using. Um, I And I don't know in that video whether I sh whether it was the smaller size or the larger size, but I purchased the larger size now in the eye tonic. I use this morning and night. This is the um, eye cream, eye tonic. <laughs> <laughs> that I use morning to night. I've repurchased this several times as well. And then this was something new to me and this is their scrub. So it's their exfoliator. They suggest using this on Thursday and Sunday. Oh, they say like Thursday for the weekend, Sunday for the week. And it has little teeny tiny like wax beads in it so that you can't hurt yourself by scrubbing too hard. You know what I mean? You can't do any damage to your skin. So I really like that and this has lasted me that long I and I use it once a day on those two days. So twice a week. <laughs> I mean good gravy. And then this is, I just actually repurchased, this is another one um, of the milk cleanser. This is what I use morning and night. I have one in my shower and I have one at my vanity and I, I just I never ever thought that I would use a cleanser that didn't foam up in any way, shape, or form. I, I was convinced that I needed it to foam up in order for my skin to be clean, but this for my drier skin has just been like magic for me. It's one of the only, I have used a few, but it's one of the only cleansers that didn't leave my skin feeling, I've said before, like tight, like, ugh, get some, get some moisturizer, moisturizer on me now. Um, and the other thing that sometimes I will use this for is like a, almost like a mask. I'll put it all over my face, a little extra of it all over my face, kind of rub it in a little bit, but then let it sit for about 15 minutes and then wash it off. And it's kind of a, a little, you know, kick of, kick of moisture. And then the last thing, and this is the, I have purchased another one since then. So I've gone through one and then have repurchased. And this is their toner. Um, it's just called Tone. I, I really like um, this. So I do know that somebody asked me once if this had aloe vera gel in it, and it does, because I think some, somebody was particularly um, sensitive to that. Uh, and it has diazonized water and witch hazel and some other some other things, but I love it. I love how it smells. It's one, again, it's a toner that I, I really, really have enjoyed using. Of the ones that I've tried in the past year, it's definitely my 
favorite. It's, it might be tied a little bit. No, I, I really think it's my favorite over the one from Bosha, which I, I purchased a couple of times. So, and the last thing that I had purchased, and I, I had purchased these because I was down there for something. I can't remember what. But anyway, this is the ID, and it's Instant Dew. And this works a lot like, um, like a Fix Plus or something like that. But there's there are delightful things in this. There's Witch Hazel in this as well. And I find that this not only will kind of meld my makeup together, but I, I can use it and have used it throughout the day when I just feel like, oh, my skin's looking a little bit dry or something. And I, especially in the winter, I kept this in my desk in the winter and I would just spray it down and, you know, it would refresh everything and make everything look instantly dewy. <laughs> Hence the ID or Instant Do. All right, I think that that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. On my face today, I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix. And again, I have the blush from Pure Minerals in Tease on my cheeks. And as I said, I have the lipstick in A-Lister, which again looks like this, on my lips. But over the top of that, I have, where did I put it? Max Purr, which it's going to have to go in my empties because I pulled it out. And I love this one, but it's starting to smell just a little like it needs to go in my empties. But I wanted to tone down that A-lister just a little bit. On my eyes, I have the Bad to the Bronze by Maybelline. And I have the Pure Minerals Secret Crush Palette. I have this shade, this rosy shade right here, all over the lid. And then the rest of my eye is the Becca Ombre Nudes, just for a little transition color, brow bone, and a little definition. And I think that that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope that you're having a great day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.